Okay, so now we want to start deploying Octopus Deploy server on a Windows machine. As I said, you can only install Octopus Deploy on a Windows machine or use the cloud version of it, but you can deploy your product or for example, website to both Windows and Linux based servers. In order to install Octopus Deploy on Windows, your Windows doesn't have to be a Windows server. It can be Windows 10 as well. So in order to start deploying it, we can go to Octopus octopus.com and you need to sign up you need to create an account because you will need a license Un unfortunately the only way to use octopus deploy for free is to install it on your own servers the cloud edition doesn't come for free it has a starting uh, price and then you have to pay the more you use it however you can sign up and you can get a free license for up to 10 deployment targets so the best way to sign up is that you click on download and you download the install installation package if you go back on the page that you have the download button there is a link that says get starter license this is the only way you can basically sign up because on the top uh, right corner of the screen there is sign in and then try free which takes you to the cloud version so you click on get start license and in here for company if you are not a company just put something like not available or not applicable put first name last name and email and then just click on agree and create license this will email you a link you go back to your mailbox click on that link and then you are signed in and your license is ready because i do have an account i can just log in with my account and my license will be on a screen like this so this piece of xml is basically my that i need to copy to clipboard and then use it when i'm asked for a license so in order to install octopus deploy we just run the msi file and agree to the terms and conditions and we just install this is not going to install the actual server this will install something called octopus manager using octopus manager you can set up the octopus deploy server because octopus deploy is basically just asp.net application plus some asp.net apis you can have multiple of them working together you can create a cluster or a web farm with the free edition or free license you can only have one instance so in order to set it up click on get started and the first thing you will be asked for is license just paste that xml that you got from the website in here and click on next click on next for the service account it's best to leave it to local system account and then you need to come configure your database octopus deploy needs sql server to be installed without sql server you cannot install octopus deploy your only option will be using the cloud edition of octopus deploy if you want to set it up for learning you can install sql server express edition but license wise i don't think you can use the sql server express for commercial purposes i do have sql server express on this machine so if i just click on this down arrow it is search the services and it will find sql server for me for database i can just type in a name it can exist already this database or if not just type the name and then octopus deploy will prompt you and will tell you that it's going to be created which is fine and we are done with the database also they also octopus deploy will create a website for you uh, make sure your port 80 or any port that you put in here is not busy and it's not blocked by your firewall or if you are for example in amazon web services your security group is allowing the incoming traffic from that port then click on next then you need to provide a user this is going to be your root or admin user we can call it admin email will not be checked you can type in any email with any password you can use any email and the password can be something with average complexity and then you get the install button and then you click on install this is going to install the actual octopus deploy server basically it's just going to run a lot of scripts you can see the scripts by clicking on the show script as well so our installation is done in order to access our server you just go to browser and put this link in here and octopus will come up we type in the username and password that we just provided as the root account and we are inside octopus deploy 
before I start showing you what's going on in Octopus Deploy, we go back. As I said, if you want at any time, you can switch to the cloud edition. Uh, for example, if you just click on pricing, you will see that the server, which means you installed Octopus Deploy on your server, up to 10 targets or 10 tentacles, you can use it for free but the cloud edition doesn't have such a feature you can try it for a month for free after that that's 45 dollars a month plus nine dollars per seat or per tentacle the first five tentacles are included uh, if you want to set up octopus deploy for a large team for example if you have 10 developers and three environments such as development staging and production i highly recommend that you use the cloud version because then you won't have to worry about updating uh, octopus deploy and maintenance and having sql server license and things like that so i let you install your octopus or open a cloud account and we continue in the next lecture.